Luca, looks like you've adjusted to NBA life pretty quickly, and you've already made uh, several big shots in, in your uh, uh, early part of your career. How do you feel about the ability to make the big shots, some important shots, some clutch, clutch shots like the one in Portland that you had earlier this year? Yeah, I mean, as I always say, I feel comfortable with those shots uh, and no fear. So, as I got to say, I, I love to take those shots. What kind of influence has uh, Dirk Nowitzki had on you uh, so far in your career and even before you got to Dallas? Yeah, a lot. I mean, even before, like you said, I mean, I watched him a lot, his videos. I mean, but especially now, uh, as I can see how he's off the court, uh, he's a great person. So that's what even it's more... Uh, more, I say, uh, I don't know. It's like, more like, real. yeah, more real. Yeah. What? Uh, how have things worked out so far for you, uh, in comparison to how you expected you might do? Are you, are you doing about what you thought you might do? A little better? Not so? Not as good as you thought you wanted to do? How's that measure up uh, so far? I would say better than I expected for sure. Like I wouldn't expect it to have this impact. In the in the early game, but for sure it's better than I expected. Yeah, what's been the biggest adjustment for you in in playing NBA basketball so far? I think because uh, uh, the game is quicker here, uh, people like attack real quickly, and the physical thing for sure. I think those two those two things uh, I'm adjusting more and more. Yeah. Um, what was your welcome to the NBA moment. What was the one moment where, or was there a moment this year where you were out on the court and you made a play against somebody, or uh, maybe it was uh, in a moment when you were playing against the Lakers or LeBron. What was your, wow, I'm here moment in the NBA? Uh, I would say the, when I played against the Lakers, for sure. When I saw like, I'm playing against LeBron, like, I was like, whoa, I'm here, you know, playing against all these superstars and I can play with them. I saw a game against the Clippers earlier this year, and um, it was when you guys were in Los Angeles playing them. And it looked like guys were really trying to be physical with you, and guys were coming at you, Beverly and Avery Bradley, uh, but you were able to withstand their challenges. Uh, how much have you noticed that guys are really challenging you, that you know, this is Luka Doncic coming from Europe? Uh, highly talked about rookie and they're coming after you a little bit. Have you sensed any of that? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I had this in Europe too, you know, a lot of people would like be physical with me and a lot of stuff. But yeah, I, I mean, I just, I just want to play game. Uh, I just want to go 100% every time and just uh, win the games. Um, what do you think about your chances for rookie of the year? And what would it mean for you to uh, win that award because they're already talking about you as being the leader so far. Yeah, I mean, it would be, mean a lot to me, uh, of course. Uh, have some great great competition, uh, so it would mean a lot to me, for sure. Being an NBA rookie, uh, off the basketball court can be a little different. Are you? Do you have to get donuts or bring coffee for the guys or anything like that in the morning? Are you being hazed at all? Uh, I mean, when we go on the on the road trips, uh, so we just exchange me and Jalen. Sometimes he bring the wings, sometimes I bring the wings. So it's really not that much. Uh, so they're being good guys for sure. Boston is one of the more um, storied franchises in NBA history. They have 17 championships here. Uh, how much do you know about playing in? in Boston and what this franchise means? Is it something that you were aware of even before you came to the NBA? Yeah, of course. I remember watching uh, Kevin Garnett, Pierce, and Rondo being together. Remember the, those days uh, when I was really young. So, I mean, this is a, this is a history of basketball team. So, I mean, and now they have a great opportunity to be in the finals too. So, it's, it's a pleasure for me to be here. And last thing for me, are you surprised by the amount of fan support you've gotten so far in terms of the All-Star voting? Yeah, I was, I was. Uh, I remember yesterday I saw the results. Uh, I was surprised, but at the same time, I was the happiest guy in the world right there. <laughs>